right, what's up, y'all? It's Mr. G back here with another instructional video. And today we're going to talk about volume. Now, I'm not talking about the volume that's inside your car when you're turning it up all the way, bumping your favorite song. Jump in, jump in. I'm happy. Nope, not that type of volume. I'm talking about the volume that is the amount of space inside an object. And you're probably like, huh? Uh, in math, volume means the amount of space inside an object. Okay, and why do you need to know that? Well, what if you wanted to fill this box up? If you wanted to fill this box up with water or something like that, you would know exactly how much to put in here. Or if you wanted to fill it up with sand and wrap it up and give it to your friend as a prank gift, you would know exactly how much sand to put in here. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so to find out the volume of this box or how much you will need to fill it up with whatever you want to put in there. Um, you need to use the secret formula. Now I can't be giving away all my secrets, but I'm gonna give you this secret now. And the secret formula is this. It is something called, and write this down with me. You're gonna to wanna to write this down. Don't give it to anybody though. This is length times width times height. This is the secret formula. Put it over here, formula. Formula, the secret volume formula, length times width times height. Now you might be asking, well, what, what, what exactly? How do, how do I do this? What does that mean? Let me show you here. All right. The L here is the length. This is the length part of the formula. L is the length. You can see how long it is. The W is the width. That's this part right here. This is the width. You can see how deep it goes. And the H is the height right here. How high it goes. All right, now let's not forget our multiplication signs here because you need to multiply all these up just like that. All right, now this is the easy part. Now that we have identified the length, the width, and the height, bam, 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 all you're gonna do is multiply them up. So let's do that now. So here's the length, length times the width, five times four. So let's do that here, five times four. We know that's 20, bam, okay? Now that we have 20, we multiply these two, we still need the height, 20 times six. So let's put the six down there, multiply that. That looks like it's gonna be 120. So it looks like the volume of this rectangular prism here is gonna be 120, but we're not done yet, all right? Do you see the unit of measure here? That is feet. So don't forget your unit of measure, which is feet, 120 feet. But one last thing, there is three of them. One, two, three, there's one foot, two foot, three foot. So you need to put a little three here knowing that your unit of measure is a 3D cube or a 3D box. Very important. You cannot forget that little guy right there, the little three. So 120 feet cube is our answer for this problem. All right, before I let you go, let's review again. Remember, volume is the amount of space inside an object. The, vo the volume formula, put that right there, volume. Formula is length times width times height, length times width times height. You just multiply all three up and you get your final answer. And do not forget your unit of measure cubed because there's one, two, three cubed. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Peace.